Good day everyone! In today's video, we will tackle about the models of disability, specifically the second and third models, the biomedical or individual model, and functional or rehabilitation model. Let us have our objectives first. For K, evaluate the biomedical or individual model and functional rehabilitation model. S. Differentiate the biomedical or individual model and functional or rehabilitation model using a Venn diagram. And A. Discuss the importance of biomedical or individual model and functional or rehabilitation model with your classmates and perform their roles in the class by giving example scenarios. Now, let us define first what is model of disability. Models of disability are tools for defining impairment and ultimately for providing a basis upon which government and society can devise strategies for meeting the needs of disabled people. They are frequently regarded with skepticism since it is believed that they do not reflect the real world, are frequently incomplete and encourage restricted thinking and rarely provide precise counsel for action. Yet, they provide a useful framework for understanding disability concerns as well as the perspectives of individuals who create and utilize the models. Now, for today's main discussion, we will be exploring the definition, some examples, the importance, and the difference between the two models, which is the biomedical or individual model and functional or rehabilitation model. The medical model or biomedical model of disability defines an illness or disability as the result of a physical condition which is intrinsic to the individual. It is part of the individual's own body. The biomedical model of illness and healing focuses on purely biological factors and excludes psychological, environmental, and social influences. In this model, disability is viewed as an illness or trauma, and professional help is provided or controlled. This model ignores the full range of concerns associated with disability, and people with disabilities are viewed as unfortunate. Example, he can't read the newspaper because he's blind. The person is blind maybe since birth or because of an accident. People may say that he is unfortunate because he can see. In this kind of disability, professional help is provided. The importance of biomedical or individual model. To comprehend normal and pathological function from gene to phenotype and to give a basis for preventive or therapeutic intervention in human disorders. The biomedical model has the distinct advantage of the patient's primary concern being the greatest possible therapy and recovery. Now, let's go on to the functional or rehabilitation model. The functional model views disability as something that can be treated in the same way that a doctor treats an illness. Emphasizing the use of a treatment regimen strategy or service that improves functional capacity rather than addressing the underlying ailment or impairment. Similar to the medical model, it considers disability to be a deficiency that must be treated by a professional, and persons with impairments are viewed as failures as if they are unable to overcome the problem. The process of rehabilitation in disability First is identifying the disabled or injured person's needs and issues. Second, correlating the issues with the person and their environment. Third, setting objectives for rehabilitation efforts, planning and implementation of suitable measures. And fifth, evaluating the results of the implementation. The main difference of the biomedical model and functional rehabilitation model is in the concept of habilitation and rehabilitation. In the biomedical model, it suggests habilitation which refers to the help given to those whose disabilities are congenital or manifested very early in life in order to maximize their function. 
Habilitation refers to the health care services that assist a person in acquiring, maintaining, or improving partially or entirely at various periods in life. Communication and daily living tasks are examples of connected skills. On the other hand, in the functional or rehabilitation model that suggests rehabilitation, which refers to the support provided by specialists to persons who have acquired a disability in the hopes of regaining functionality. Like for example, when World War I happened, communities of witnesses witnessed perfect people living to serve their nation only to come back disabled physically, mentally, and neurologically. It was then they realized that not all disabilities are inborn. The importance of functional rehabilitation model, the purpose of it is to train the patient utilizing three-dimensional motions in order to prepare the entire body for return to regular activities or sports. Functional rehabilitation is a rehabilitation program that is aimed to give comprehensive therapy for an athlete's injury. Unlike typical physical treatment, functional rehabilitation aims to return the athlete to full participation in the sport at their previous level of activity. That will be all about my topic for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have learned something. Annyeong!